In lesson 3.8, we talked about renaming fractions. So seeing a mixed number, you can turn that into an improper fraction, or an improper fraction can be turned into a mixed number. So renaming fractions. You can make trades to find new names for mixed numbers and fractions greater than 1. Example 1, it says start with 2 and 1 third. So you have your two holes and your one-third over there. It says trade one hole for three over three. So now you have your one hole, one hole split into three, still a hole, and your one-third left over. Now you have one hole and four-thirds, or one and four over three. Another name for two and one-third is one and four-thirds. Example two, it says start with seven fourths. You have your two circles split into fourths, missing one piece. If it was me, I might make this a whole piece and just color it in. So you have, and I would color in my seven parts. So, ooh, ooh, no, we're not going to do that. Let's use the highlighter. So that's colored in, and then these ones are colored in. Then you can trade the four-fourths for one hole. So now you have one hole and still your three-fourths. Or one and three-fourths. So another name for seven-fourths is one and three-fourths. In problems one and two, find at least one or more name for each of the fractions or mixed number. Do not change the denominator. Let's highlight that. Do not change the denominator. Check that your trades were fair and record the trades you made. You can use the pictures to help you think about making trades. So, if we look at this, we see we have one half over here. Let me circle it in red. Here's a half. So what do you think we should split these into? We could split them into halves. Half, half, half. Actually, let's take back a half, so we have one hole left. So, we could trade... Let's take back another half. So, if we do one, if we make one one half, we could trade one hole for two over two. So now what is my name? How many holes do I have? I write that first. One hole, two hole. So two holes. And how many halves do I have? That's counter halves. I'm going to use a different color. Let's use green. Halves. One, two, three. Two and three halves. So another name for three and one half is two and three halves. Try number one on your own or number two on your own. My hint for you is maybe turn this one that's broken up into a whole piece. Now it says in problems three and four, cross out fractions or mixed numbers that does not name the same number as the others in the group. You can draw pictures to help you. So you might want to have a separate sheet of paper to draw some pictures. So for three, can we have four and one eighths? Well, let's look. What if we did? What if, well, can we have four? No, we don't even have four holes. Look, we only have one hole, one hole, two hole, three hole. Can I even have four? No. Could I have three and five eighths? Oh, wait. I messed up. Rewind. So, what this is wanting you to do is you really do need to draw a picture. So, if I go back, go back, go back, go back, I'm going to redo our picture and make sure we have space to draw.
So it says in problem 3 and 4, cross out the fraction or mixed number that does not name the same number as the others in the group. So, it's wanting you to have 4 and 1 8. So, I would draw 4 circles, 5 circles, split them into fourths, and then eighths. Now, this one right here, you only have this amount. You only have one eighth here. So here. Now, let's count how many we have. Eight, 16, 24, 32. I'm counting the eight pieces inside, plus one. Is that 33 over eight? Yes. Now, can we have three and five eighths? So we're looking at one hole, so now this is a hole, one hole, two holes, three holes, and we're looking at the, these last ones left over. If I want five eighths, but I have eight here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm not going to be able to find 5 eighths. So this one does not name the same number as the others. Try 4 on your own. The bottom two are practice problems. Estimate first and then solve.